people, this is Silverly Found Nine Zero Five Five back again on the channel Evolutionary Eevees. We are again showcasing another deck profile. Today we are going to be showcasing Exernius GX uh, with Sylveon. Uh, testing the deck right now, still need to make some improvements with it. Um, I was actually testing against my brother, did a really close match, but so far uh, it's been a pretty decent deck. Uh, sorry if I'm talking quietly that my family's asleep right now, so. I want to make sure that I don't wake them up, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this deck profile. So, of course, starting off first, our main attacker into this deck, we are playing a 3-line of Exernius GX. Uh, I'm about to go in line after this, maybe see how much this card is, because I need to be playing 4 of this in this deck. I do know, though, when this video goes up, though, uh, that Worlds will already be over, and uh, what do you call it? Some of these cards will be expanded, but this is more like a fun deck to play after the rotation is over. Uh, you can add your own cards though to replace some of the expanded ones, or you can play this ex deck expanded, but there will also be cards being banned in this deck, of course, if you already know Postable Time is going to be banned, well, that kind of sucks. I need to figure out why I'm going to replace for it, but this is basically like before rotation, so. Next, we're also playing a 2-2 line of Eevee and Sylveon. You want to start out with Sylveon, of course, you already know, you've seen this deck everywhere, you've even seen it in Guard of War, we've seen it and like its own deck it's just a really good card uh ev one of the best evolution of cards in the game with that energy evolution just to put any energy onto it and it evolves into whatever that is we currently have i think what uh five out of the eevee evolutions that are released right now we're waiting on jolteon flareon and vaporeon really can't wait to see those ones come out and see what how good they do in today's meta but Next up for our Pokemon, uh, we're playing a two line of Latios. This is like our spread damager. If you don't know, Xerneas GX's first attack. Uh, this deck is all about spread damage. Let me let it focus right there. So for 20 damage overrun right there, we'll do right there. 20 to the active and 20 to the bench. Really, really good attack for starting off. And it's only for a single energy. Next, we are playing a 1-1 one, one line of Vermeraid and Octillery. This is going to be like our draw engine for the deck. So, this is basically after we get done with all this drawing. But this is pretty much all the Pokemon we're running. I know I need to run more, so I know I need to go ahead and buy an Orguru. And I need to go ahead and buy another Xerneas and make some upgrades to this deck. But this is pretty much all the Pokemon we are running for now. that all over there all right next up for our supporters so we are playing a three line of Cynthia Paul gonna up this count to four after rotation I'll take those puzzle times out for this deck if I want to play standard but next we are playing also a three line of Guzma uh, really essential cards probably one of the most metagame cards in the deck. Playing a two line of N, two line of Sycamore, a one line of Kufui, one Ku Acerola, and a one line of Diantha. Um, after rotation, of course, we're going to be losing Sycamore and and I think that's all the sports that like currently are really important we're going to be losing. Uh, but so, are basically our draw engine. But not that they really change the supporters that much. We got some really good draw cards coming out of Celestial Storm, so it's not that bad. Uh, these cards have been in the format for a very, very long time, so really sad to see them go, but enjoyed them while they were in the standard format, and we still have an expanded one, so we can still play these cards right now, so that's pretty much it for that. Now moving over to the items. Let's move this all over here. So we are playing a four line of Max Elixir. This deck absolutely must play Max Elixir for consistency. You won't always hit the energy, but when you do, it is really, really nice. We are playing all basics in this deck. We're mainly going to be attaching our energy onto Exernius. Uh, Latios is more of our sniper, so we're going to be using double colors for it, but you absolutely need to be playing four Max Elixir in this deck. It's crucial. It's like pretty much... The bread and butter of this deck, like in Tapu Koko, so 
Next up, we are playing a four line of Fairy Drop. So, really good healing. This card's been in the format for a very long time, hasn't been used much, but uh, this deck is really good for healing, which is really nice. Next, we're also playing a four line of Fighting Fury Belt. Uh, really nice on all the Pokemon in our deck. Uh, Latios and our Xerneas will be able to use this to great effect, being able to hit for 40 or 30 damage to the active and then hit the bench at the same time, and it gets 40 more HP, so you'll be able to survive bigger hits in this format. Next, uh, we're playing 4 Puzzle Time, a really, really cool card. Um, this card wasn't printed that much either, so this card is kind of expensive. It won't be probably after rotation, we'll see, but... Uh, really cool card. Really sad to see it go. Really sad to see it banned, though. That's even the worst part when you can't even play it and expand because it's too broken. It won't make the game really fun to play because uh, if you have a broken card, everybody's going to play it and everything like that. So I understand why they banned it, but really sad to see it go. But really, really cool card. I'll be keeping these even after rotation just to have for my collection. But this is, post -rot this is like not post-rotation, before rotation, so... Yeah. Next, we're also playing two line of field blower, uh, two line of nest ball for search, and one energy retrieval, one pal pad, one risky stretcher, and one super rod. And last but not least, our stadiums. We are playing a two line of fairy garden for that free retreat since we're not playing any floatstone. <clears throat> oh, we're not playing any floatstone. Another card we're losing in this format. Uh, we're also playing an eight line of. Fairy Energy and four line of DCE. So overall, really cool deck. I tried it out against my brother. He almost beat me with the deck he has right over there. Uh, he's playing a uh, March Stomp with uh, Obna Snow over there, so he's over there fixing his deck up. But he almost beat me with it. It wasn't for the Ladio spreading damage, and of course, the most competitive card in the game. One of them, anyways. Uh, Guzma would have probably lost, but Gladio's clutched out along with the puzzle time. It's just a really good talk card, and of course, the rescue stretcher. But uh, that's pretty much it for the deck profile. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, please comment down below, like, and subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon content. I'm going to be putting in some codes for PCGO today, so then we'll be able to do an opening tomorrow, hopefully. And then uh, I'm also going to be posting a battle between me and my self um we're gonna be doing a battle after i get done recording this so just stay tuned for that if you guys enjoyed the first battle then this battle will be just as hyped hopefully so uh that's pretty much it so see you guys later hope you guys enjoyed the deck um uh, salt world so it was really good matches and everything like that i watched the vgc the poking tournament all that stuff really really cool but uh without further ado i'll see you guys later and it's gonna be silver leafy on 9055 logging off peace and i hope you all have a good day